but welcome back to High Society. After our unfortunate mishap here in the uh, main hall, he at least has a run of the place now, which is useful actually. I'll just get, scout this room again in case there's many more moss arrows like that one that I missed. Now that I don't have the guards to worry about. Ooh, actually, this is very good. I didn't realize. Whoops. Well, I made a jump. But I could jump quietly between those uh, plant beds. That's the front door guards. Hello. What is he using the Victrolas for? I guess we should find out. Um, what we do, remember that I wanted to mark, I use a lowercase s. Accept my regrets at missing the pleasure of your company. I will be out the remainder of this evening attending various social functions. Please be kind enough to leave your card with the sergeant before departing. Thank you. Leave your card with the sergeant? You've got your guards doing uh, household duties now? Okay, I hear footsteps. I see where they come from. Oh wow, okay. Alright, there's somebody out there that could see me in the doorway. Oh, he's going down into the main hall. Okay, I was too reckless in the main hall then. That's how we can resolve resolve this problem. Take him to join his friends. A little pile back here. I guess if I want to explore this courtyard, I should do it from this side where I've put the lights out. Kinda. Wow. Well, guess putting the light out in there doesn't really help. There's the guard. Alright, well, we'll have to leave the courtyard until we can get rid of the courtyard. Right? Wow, this place is tall. Alright, is it a valuable sextant?
castle guy. Maybe I'm hearing somebody upstairs. Yeah, it's wooden floors. It sounds like it's upstairs. Wait, there's a bit of security key. How's this key? Sleeping on the job. There's your punishment. Alright, so here we have another security room. Which I've turned off by hope. But what it connects to, I don't know. Oh, is this what the controllers were for? What room is this? Ballroom. Extremely bright. God. I hope you won't see me here. Okay, good. Five of these vases, one there. We were supposed to be getting. Okay. See that much of a mechanist believer that he's got a portrait of Karis? In private place? That seems odd. I'm hearing these footsteps there. I don't understand where they're coming from. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't seem like it's there above my head, but I can't see any connection to the upper area. Maybe it's just a dodgy room brush, but uh, you know, this thing seems pretty carefully constructed. Right, well, that's the gallery. Just better with lights off. These are the gems that we've got to get, clearly. Mm -hmm. 
Right, I'm not going to be able to pick those locks. I'm going to need to have some way to open it. That's the card I was hearing down below. Seems pretty quiet up here actually compared to down below. And these floors are all wooden, so... Much safer on this floor than the ground floor, but to be quite honest... However, it will still keep... It's not all wooden floors. Where's he gone? We'll still keep up with my, uh... Someone's... Cleaning... Approach. Wow, that's weirdly detailed little... Insets there, not that room. Uh... Yeah, we'll do it with the lights off. It is sufficiently dark. I mean, this is a suspicious banner, is it not? Well, it's even more suspicious now. Another security room? Nope. But the housekeeper door opens up. Hello. Oh, that'll be security. I think it was exceedingly lucky that I went there first. Okay, so this one has a wire going through the wall. Before I turn it off. Right, I can see a watcher. Yes, okay. Also, guard. Well, somebody must have dropped a gold nugget for me. I will say, we've got a very high loot goal, and I've only collected less than 500 loot so far, right? 2400 is the goal. I hope the gems count, and count for a lot, because... Oh, there's two, two doors to this room. Because if they don't... This loot is going to be... This loot goal will be problematic. Either that, or he just has an enormous stack of, coin, of uh, coins somewhere. Oh, they've got they've got a bloom effect, bloom bloom effect sprite on the lamp. I think I've seen that done before. Could be misremembering. Okay, right, this is why I can hear the guy walking up and down here.
You just happy to stand there? I hope so, otherwise he's gonna be introduced to my blackjack. I don't know who he is, but he's clearly not, uh, Lord Gello. Or he'd have the gear on his person, right? Lord Gello's room is protected by the gears. Keys, 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 keys. No? No? Ah. Okay, so we do need a key there. So there's a guy that patrols here somewhere, there's also a guy who is staring right at me. There's the patrolling one. Who's there? Another security key, okay, that's useful. I guess the door that we opened before, with uh, the door I couldn't open, but rather, with the room where I found the first security key would probably be opened by the housekeeping key, which I did not have at that point. Some more wires, but not actual switches or anything I can do anything with. Okay. Dining room. Drinking. Taking a break. Ah, oh, there's a watch that's up there turned off as well. That's the one I saw from outside. Hey, you the only girl up here? I think the footsteps I'm hearing are from down below. Okay. Well, before I go out that way... Collect some food. Hello, and some nice wine. Uh, it's not going to collide with the light. Okay, so we have a dumb waiter in the dining room. We've got a big room to the north. Well, big. Set of rooms up here this way. Well, housekeeping up in this. 
think we might. Right, so we need another key for that. Where are all these keys hiding? Small water arrows, very nice. Oh, it's just a curtain on the window. We have another floor. Alright, the second floor is small. So we've turned off a bunch of watches. Okay, so we're gonna need the gear to get in here, which means we're gonna have to find the captain. The safe for the captain's quarters. Oh, hello. Is this decorative or is that does look like a different texture, doesn't it? Look, that's a bad place for a rope. Next to statue. <laughs> Come on, I saw you there. Let's try this again. It's entirely too thin to save my mantle onto. Oh, I can step it from here. Alright then. The attic. Oh. I must pick up either that's worth a lot or I picked up a bunch more valuable loot without looking because I was complaining that I was under 500. And now we're at 800. another one of those vases. Do I need flares? No, but if I pick them up, I put them in my inventory. Now, if, if it can be picked up, it must be picked up. How do they get these crates in here? They're bigger than the only hatch. Alright, that seems to be everything in this room. There is an electric light, but apparently it doesn't have a switch. Which seems odd. Oh, it does have a switch. Right, so I didn't miss anything. Let's see if we can get on this rope without dying. Good. Good work, Gary. Okay, so that's... The attic's even marked on the map. Uh, let's get down. That's the way up. So let's just mark it here, gear. Alright then, so those doors are all locked. I guess we can go across the patio. Up 
have this ledges all around this place. If only I'd started my knockout regime when I was down at ground level. Just because I've been here only a few months, I think that I can just get away with it, push me around. I'll show them someday. Maybe I'll have to do something about that. Oh, I can get down to ground level quite easily. And in fact, we have a window. Okay, a bucket. They're cleaning the... Cleaning the dining room windows, I guess. What's there? Nothing. Tonight. And why is that? Well, for starters, Lord G and the captain aren't here tonight. And uh, the sergeant is down in the Lord's special library. So there's no one around who'll give us taff about it. So pour me another, I'm feeling good! <laughs> hey! I'll give you the cheese, but no <coughs> more wine. You're supposed to be on duty. Look at you. You can barely lift your sword, much less protect the manor from an intruder. Oh, flip sticks. Nobody can get it here. Lord G's got lots more guards around and all kinds of those mechanical bull eyes. Any tapper who tried to break in would get, get caught in a jeffy. Maybe so, but it's not fair to the others who have to do all the work while you're slacking off. Slacking off? Not old Benny here. I'm guarding the barmaid. You're too important to let anything happen to you. Hey, hey, how, how's, how's about a little kiss? Benny, your breath could choke a burrick at 20 paces. Just eat your cheese and try to sober up, okay? We don't want to turn those lights on. Uh, it's not a gas light that's illuminating them over there. Is there a light switch? That no. So I want to try rubbing the bar, but uh, getting to it is surely going to be the hard part. I guess I can quickly test it. What's that? I must be getting sleepy. <laughs> There's definitely valuable loot behind the bar there. Hmm. <clears throat> well, they already know I'm here, right? Huh? <laughs> Who's he's right here? <clears throat> well, maybe it's just a little. Uh, that's also valuable. All right, well, Benny, you're not getting your, you know, the drink because the barmaid is uh. hanging out with that other guard. He's also slacking off. Uh. Everybody's slacking off tonight, thanks to me. I can't spin it. Oh, they left a pile of money though. That's that's good. And a pack of cards, but that's less valuable. check that hallway. What, what have we got here? I guess it would be possible if there was another way into this room. Certainly reached out there, but I don't think you could have reached that. 
anything under the bar. Did not check out the pool room and there's beams over the top of it. Interesting. All the beams are there. It's gonna be hard to navigate. Drink your medicine. Get out of here before somebody comes in. Well, whatever room is there has an active watcher uh, right in front of me, right behind these curtains. Well, I think looking the other way, right? Okay. Well, the watcher was easily dealt with. I didn't even need a security key for that one. So I guess, although that mechanist guy's notes really only mentioned two watches, I guess there are more. I guess he had a few more installed. Hello. Why did the security key open this? Is this the captain's room? Aha. Uh -huh. Here's the gear we need. Dear Captain Horace, I would like to thank you for your continuing good work in improving the guards. The new staggered shifts you suggested are working out very well. No longer am I awakened at 7am by the sound of stomping feet going by my window. Your efforts in improving their combat skills are no less commendable. Everyone in the city is saying that my guards are the best around. No more street agents bothering my coach, no more vagabonds showing up at the kitchen for a handout, no more beggars out by my front gate. Things have vastly improved over your predecessor. Please don't concern yourself about the rumours regarding your training methods. A guard's life is a difficult one, and most city people just don't understand that it takes a tough approach to create an exemplary guard. By the way, I have sent Sergeant Grey to my country estate. Since that last training accident, he just hasn't been the same. Please be assured that he is still capable enough to guard there. By the way, I will need you to come with me tonight. If I'm not in the library, then I'll be downstairs. Remember, the red-suited child is my favourite picture. Regards, Lord Gellert. New objectives? Find Captain Horace's quarters and search for information on the location of the secret passageway. Yeah, Lord Gellert's private library is your best lead for the secret passageway. All right, the red seated child favorite picture. Well, I guess I can carry that with me. That's suspicious, is it not? Fourth channel. It was a good day today. There was some mangy street kid checking out Lord Gellert's coach. I knew he was up to something, the way he kept checking out the coach and trying to see inside. I grabbed him up before he could do anything and threw him against the wall. He made a most satisfying crack as he collided with the bricks. I know that noise. He has broken a couple of ribs, maybe his arm. It was the least of what he deserved. Then some stupid wench came running up, screaming about cruelty to children and that the brat didn't do anything. Of course he didn't touch the coach, yet. You have to stop them before they do. That worthless scum child was probably one of the dozens she had churned out over the years. Those people are just garbage anyway. Lord Gillard was quite pleased at how well I protected his coach. 
The servants are really slacking around here. Last Wednesday I went for my weekly bath and there weren't any towels in the cabinet. I gave that lazy laundry wench's arm a little twist as a reminder. The cabinet has been full of clean towels ever since. She's much more industrious now with a broken arm than she ever was before. Then I caught that lousy bum William sleeping behind the woodshed. He said he was just resting up before taking the next load of wood in. That guy is a lousy worker. I had the steward put him on double shift so he could get at least one day's work out of him. The worst one this week was the stable hand. He was drunk in the kitchen again, complaining that it was short on his wages, that the hours were too much, and how he needed to take his sister to the doctor. What a whiner. Then he started spouting off, saying the worst things about Lord Gellert. He called Lord Gellert a blackmailer and said he was going to the magistrate to tell him all about the terrible things Lord Gellert had done. How dare he call God Lord Gellert a blackmailer. It was too much. I hit that swiveling whiner with the fireplace poker. What a jerk. That stupid stable hand died after only one hit with the poker. An inquiry will cause Lord Gellert a lot of embarrassment. I mean, it's not like I would be found guilty. That guy deserved it. I hid him under the floorboards here with my journal. Now I'm stuck with that stinky guy around. I'd better not let any of the servants up here. I told the steward that the stable hand had left drunk last night, swearing he would never return. He didn't seem too worried about it. Apparently the stable hand had left his last employer the same way. Lord Gellert was annoyed at having to get another stable hand. I quietly told him about the stable hand's untrue ac accusations. He wanted to know what I had done to stop him from spreading those lies, so I told him. He was impressed with how I defended his good name and how I had taken care of the problem so that there wouldn't be any police poking around here. Lord Gellard said that he had been looking for a fellow like me to take charge of guards and promoted me to captain. I can hardly believe it. This is the best day ever. <clears throat> These past few weeks have just blown by. The servants are more productive and the guards are shaping up well. None of the street urchins come anywhere near the coach either. It is good to be captain. Lord Gellard came to me today. It seems that Peter and Mary have been carrying tales about him recording people. He said the steward had already spoken to them about their gossiping. Now they are trying to make it seem that Lord Gellard is plotting with the mechanists simply because he is having them install some additional security. He said that servants like to gossip, but this is entirely too much. Lord G said that he can't dismiss them because it would look like they were telling the truth. But they cannot stay because it is too disruptive. He wants me to take care of this one way or the other. Why do I think it's going to be smelly in here again? Oh dear. Captain Horath's brutality towards as opposed to his lord is legendary, but now you have proof. And so will the Bulldogs. Dear Emily, will your mother be moving out soon? Things are getting rather rough here. The captain overheard me complain about having to haul all the firewood by myself, and has been making things rather difficult. That guy has a mean streak a mile wide and 40 fathoms deep. He broke a maid's arm last week because she didn't have the towels ready when he went for his bath. Try to convince your mother to go back to her old job at the Parker Estate so I can return home. Running the fruit stand in the markets is better than working here. Affectionately, William. Well, that's uh, one, two, three, four skulls. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a corpse. I thought it was another, another bit of loot. Man, it must be extremely smelly in your room with decomposing uh, bodies below, but. I guess that's the tough life of, of a captain of the guard. So, excellent news, I have the gear. We can now get into the upper floors. That's going to come just down this way, doesn't he? We have the gear, we have the proof we need of Horath. Well, I guess the optional proof we needed. Someone making noise. No. I could hide you under Horath's floorboards, but that would be entirely too mean. If Horath was here, I would absolutely knock him out and put him there, but. 
sleeping on the job. Security is so lax here tonight. You would all be missing limbs if Horace knew. But I am more lenient. Carrots. Oh, this is the barracks. And then so. That was close. Also unexpected. You know what? I'm not sure if I stole Benny's cheese. Did he have any cheese on the bar? Did I get a look? If I find myself back in the bar. Oh, well, we've got lights on. Let's have a look at these beams. Oh, they look clear. Clean. Clear. That's the word I was looking for. Right. So that explains why they don't want servants in the barracks. I mean, the other guards must be pretty unhappy about it. Having to do all the cleaning in the barracks, but uh... the watchers shall remain on at all times except during maintenance. They are not watching you; they are watching for thieves from the outside. So stop acting like they are and maintain your patrols. By the way, when I catch the archer that has been using them for target practice, he will really regret it. He has earned himself a few minutes substituting for the practice dummy in the sword room. The security key shall be kept at all times with the guard watching the stairs by Lord Geller's room. No one is permitted to enter the library at night. Too many guards fall asleep in there or leave dirty fingerprints on everything. Night shift has plenty of time to sleep during the day, so just get used to it. The house master key is to remain with Lord Gellard and myself. If for any reason I'm not at the house, the key will be secured in my room or Lord Gellard's rooms. No one except Lord Gellard or I am permitted to have that key. Anyone on a break must have one of the roaming guards relieve him. No one is to leave their post unguarded for any reason. I don't care if you haven't eaten for 12 hours or the dinner isn't sitting well. The first time I catch someone leaving their post unguarded, they will forfeit two days' pay and earn a flogging. The second time isn't going to occur. Are we quite clear about that? We are here to guard Lord Gellard and his home, and that is exactly what we'll do. Signed, Captain Horace. Oh. Given the recent accident that befell Madame Belgarve and her beloved poodle, all archery practice towards the target dummy is to cease. To avoid any future misfortunes, the shutters at the end of the range have been nailed shut. Sergeant Rathbone. Yes, the arrows went out the window and hit Madame Belgrave or her poodle or both. Well, clearly her poodle. Oh, Gary, your aim is off. Look at that. That's all right. That's shoddy. Okay. Some planks. This is a bigger room than Captain Horace's room. Mm. 
There is something frightening about Horath's rabid devotion to protecting Lord Gellert and his property. It reminds me of the old Inquisitor up at the Hammerite Temple. Oh, he was a toughie. I can still remember his favourite saying. Swing the hammer and let the builder sort them out. Oh, he was enough to give a bloody nightmare as he was. What the blaze does this Horath have against the servants? He goes around breaking them and worse. He never allows them a moment of peace. Why, this week he broke the Lordly Maid's arm. I'll bet he has no idea she had been doing both her job and Mary's. Thinking of which, the steward needs to get a replacement for Mary. She was due back from her mother's weeks ago and hasn't returned yet. I'm going to post a note at the bottom of the stairs telling the servants to not come up here. Horace caught one of the maids trying to clean his room and became totally enraged. It was all I could do to get her out of there. Turns out that one of the guards was complaining that it smelled up here and it seemed to be coming from Horace's room. Not much to report. Sergeant Grey is doing well at the country estate and all is well here. Horath came up with the idea of staggered shifts for the men, and it seemed to agree with Lord Gellert and the men. Miracles never cease. Gah, I went to check out the window of my Horath's room to see if the pool was in use. What a stench! Whatever that smell is, it is not coming from the pool, and there is nothing in the hall. It must be Horath's room. I'll see if I can get one of the maids to clean out any dishes he has in there. That smell was simply disgusting. How can he stand it? Horath has all of the maids terrified. I finally got one of them to come up to clean, but she wouldn't do it unless I stood guard to warn her if Horace was coming. Good thing she did. She was only in there a few moments before I heard heavy-footed Horace on the stairs. I got her out of that room and hid her in the hallway curtains before he made it to the top of the stairs. As soon as Horace was in his room, the maid was running downstairs as if the trickster himself was after her. I tried to get the maid to go back upstairs to clean Horace's room. She absolutely refused to go. But she did tell me something odd. She said the room was clean. There were no dishes lying around or under the bed but that the smell was horrible in there. It would take more than a dead rat or two to make it smell that bad. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. So somebody is suspicious about the smell, which is not surprising. Oh yeah, the window looking out over the pool. The horse room is smaller. I guess he wasn't captain first when he had that room. He got promoted afterwards. Alright, so the barracks doesn't actually connect with the rest of the other floors. That makes sense. Sort of. I mean, it's a little strange that... Uh, Um, it's a little strange that the guards have to go downstairs and then back upstairs, but I understand why you'd want to not have the guards kind of. God. When was my last quick save? Uh, what? All the way back here? I had been in here already, right? Careful. Yes. Alright, well let's there wasn't there wasn't much to do in here. Let's let's just redo it quickly. You sleep, take your carrots. And Who's noising about? You, you sleep. Let me be a little more cautious because you guys are Clearly on the knife edge. Uh, didn't. Let me be more cautious, he says, as he back to the bed to wake the guard up before knocking him on the head. Alright. Ah, uh, this way. Nothing in here? There was that note about the watches. What's that note? a bunch of broad heads, probably don't really need them, but, you know. And... this room. I can't remember if there's anything valuable in here. Just the journal? It 
lot of new value, but when I forgot about the Troll chest. Troll chest. I have I can never complain about troll chests anymore, obviously. Once you once you make a map with troll chests yourself, you lose all rights to complain. Okay. So let's try this again. And not have my finger slip off the uh, mouse button and fire the arrow in some unwanted direction. Better. Oh, that looks shattered. Well, it's not breaking noisily, so I guess that's okay. <sighs> guess I'm renovating the room here. Oh, that's neat. It's a light fitting without the year cover. No. Why am I not hearing guards then? Okay, there was an up. Right, because this connects to up here, and I've already knocked out the guard that used to patrol this way. Alright, so now I have my run of this place. Guess I can take back my other rope arrow. Nobody in here? Good. Right, the feeling here. Yes, 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 yes. So make this room. Okay. And here we are at the main hall again. Oh, would you look at this? Look at that, how lovely that is, how beautiful that is. If only I'd come up here sooner. might not have had to have that unfortunate tangle with the guards down below. Oh well. Is that all five? That is all five of the precious China vases. Excellent. Right, so now I'm going in circles because now I have been here. Well, not everywhere here apparently. Hmm. Looks suspicious. He has six China vases. I guess. Well, sleep well, sir. Right. I have not been up there off the game room. And, uh, oh, that's the security room. Take other couple of rooms that need keys, yeah. I'm gonna need the house master key, I guess. So I could bash down that door, but that seems unnecessarily violent. Yeah. 
Can we leave some cheese on the caterpillar top? No, just bottles. Okay. This room. This area I have not been in yet. Housekeeping key. Nope, no good. All right. More need for keys. I assume it's just the master key is, is good enough. It's the same, same room, right? Oh, security key. I guess it's a security station for the upper floor. We are on the upper floor. Does this one have a hidden trap door as well? No. Or maybe this is the library? doors. I couldn't really see him in the dark and he could see me quite well in the light. Yeah, this must be the library. Wait up in here, this is the servants quarters. Oh, this isn't library, then this is just... I'm confused. Okay, I'm looking north now. Right, I haven't been in this area before. Theatre? I guess sleep. Is there no way to get back backstage? Strange to have the curtains surrounding nothing. But you know, can't complain when there's loot to be had. <laughs> This is a library, clearly. Living area. Oh, maybe it's not the private library that he was talking about. It must be upstairs. Yourself. Noisy. <laughs> the world's noisiest so far. You know, I was trying to be clever. No matter. Okay, that's just this whole way again. Guard outside. In the pool room, which I can't remember if I properly searched. Clearly I did not.
Right, and knock out the guard that was standing here, but this is the other one that patrols. Who is the risk? Not at this distance. Who's there? Problem solved. Ooh, if you throw me in the pool, that would be a bad idea. Hang out in the full security room. I wonder if the full security room was the patio watcher. I'm not sure. All right. So, where haven't I been off here? the library that's just in. Fancy courtyard of statues. This is... I've been in here but I did not actually loot the place. I guess I hadn't actually properly been in here. Oh, this isn't even the room I thought it was. Actually, this is actually an actual dining room. Huh? I, I don't have any money. It's okay. You don't need money, you just need to sleep. Huh. Basement. Basement with people wandering around. Spring wiring, I don't think I need that. Alright, this is where the dumbwaiter comes. Another kitchen? Kitchen, that's fine. No, I should eat some food since I'm still slightly low on health. There we are. I wanted to read the scroll. Where did it go? No, not that one. Francine, while you are an excellent cook, I do need to speak with you about the kitchen expenses. They are entirely too high. I know for a fact that day old bread sells for half of new baked, yet you insist on buying the fresh baked goods. Why? The guards and servants do perfectly fine on old bread. And the cheese! Find the slightly mouldy ones and make a good deal with the shopkeeper. Just cut the mould off the edges and it will be fine. The guards and servants will never know the difference. Also, don't buy so many apples. I don't like them and they are pricey. The kitchen expenses must be reduced to an acceptable amount. By the way, I hear that the butcher just got in some wonderful T-bone steaks. Make sure to get some of those for my dinner tonight. 
I'd also like some fresh green beans. The fresher, the better. Lord G. Just another security key. It is. What's some label of security room? Blue. What does that mean? It's not red. But it does suggest that I turn to me on instead of turning it off, which is worrisome. I guess here whoops, I guess here's where the cooking is done in the other more kitcheny room upstairs was um Just where they prepare the food for bringing out to the dining room. Are there any, any valuable dishes hidden in the sink? Nope. Alright. Yes, that's it for the basement. I wonder if that was gallery security. All right. So if I go west out of here, there's another room I've not been to yet. But we'll leave that for the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.